Artists paint for different reasons. Soldiers in wartime began adorning their armed vehicles, aircraft, and tanks with images to identify friend or foe. Later, the artwork evolved to express individuality and to remind them of home and peacetime. I wanted tank to represent the men and women who sacrifice all to protect our freedom. This is my tribute to them. I decided to paint an eagle in an American flag that flows down. Maybe something happened in battle to knock a big chunk of paint off or whatever. So that's just kind of, kind of my thought process on this whole thing was that, you know, this is, this is going to be perfectly imperfect. And so just with whatever you're choosing to do, um, that's just kind of what you have to keep in mind with any project. And so I just want to encourage you to um, try different techniques. Just go for it. technology like no other conflict in history. It changed the nature of battle forever, making mechanized forces the backbone around which any army is built. The United States alone constructed over 3,200,000 military vehicles during the war. By 1945, there was one vehicle for every four men. The main striking force of an armored unit was its tanks. These tracked behemoths were designed to be the ultimate armored weapon, the king of the modern battlefield. The crews who manned them came from every corner of America. To many, they were the armored cavalry, or tankmen. They referred to themselves simply as tankers. Being a tanker meant adapting to harsh battlefield conditions and a series of imperfect machines. In America, Tank development following World War I had been severely hindered due to a shrinking military budget. But after the German Blitzkrieg in France in 1940, during which tanks were extensively used with devastating results, the U.S. Army redoubled its efforts to develop a new family of tanks to counter the impressive German vehicles. The backbone of U.S. mechanized forces was the medium tank. Larger and more heavily armed than light tanks, medium tanks were meant to bear the brunt of armored combat, either in support of infantry units or operating in independent formations. The main U.S. medium tank to see combat in World War II was the M4 Sherman. Between 1942 and 1946, American factories produced over 49,000 of them. A fully armed Sherman 
carried 97 rounds of either high explosive or armor piercing shells and was protected by two and a half inches of frontal armor. A 30 caliber bow mounted machine gun was used for close combat situations. Depending on the model, it had a top speed of 24 to 30 miles an hour. In the European theater of World War II, their vehicles were no match for the enemy's tanks. Both Allied tankers and their German counterparts coined the term Ronsons for the American Shermans. This based on the popular slogan of the Canadian Ronson cigarette lighter, always lights the first time. Throughout the campaign, the late model German Mark IV with its high velocity 75 millimeter gun and the even more powerful Panther and Tiger outclassed most models of the Sherman in firepower. Despite the dangers, the tankers battled on. In the sands of North Africa, the cold and mud of Europe, and the unbearable heat of the Pacific, thousands of these men fought and died in their own armored version of combat. Standing strong, this Americana ship robe is packed with character. Tank has seen battles and served with honor and dedication. The Eagle keeps watch, perched proudly. The American flag is waving in remembrance of those who sacrificed all for our freedom. You can see the scars and each one has its own unique story. Every inch of tank was thought out and designed with a sense of purpose and pride.